More MLK related story now. History makers who were not the kind to march or protest were honored as well on this special day. They do their talking in a court of law. A group Mayor Jim Strickland admits he has a soft spot for because he's a lawyer too. Local 24 News reporter Mike Matthews looks at the winners of this year's MLK Luminary Awards. On the day when we celebrate Dr. Martin Luther King's birthday, the Memphis Luminary Awards come out. These folks are often overlooked when it comes to the civil rights fights. They weren't riding the freedom bus, they weren't protesting or involved with mass arrest. These are the people who went to court to get justice for the freedom riders and for those arrested. Lawyers. Memphis Mayor Jim Strickland, who's a lawyer, felt that the work these seven people did deserved to be acknowledged. So many of society's advances have come from legal work, and, and uh, these men and women have shown that themselves. The Confederate statues that came down on December 9 in 2017 after months of protests and fights and legal battles. If it weren't for the lawyers who worked out a way to get these statues down without violating state law, those statues might still exist. Former City Attorney Bruce McMullen remembers that December 9. The efforts we made with removing the statues will have a lasting positive impact on the city economically, socially, in a lot of different areas. And so I'm proud to have been a part of it. McMullen was one of seven who were given the Luminary Award. Some of the names were familiar. Walter Bailey, Alan Wade, Van Turner. Others might have dimmed a bit over the last few years, but they were legal lions who put their lives on the line taking unpopular stands and doing it simply because it was the right thing to do. There need to be more ready to fight, says honoree Mike Cody, who met with Dr. King about a legal fight the day before Dr. King was assassinated. We have as many problems today as we did 50 years ago. They're just different, and uh, we need to get young people to recognize that. Obviously, those who won these awards today say it is a big honor, but there is still an awful lot of work to do. In Memphis, Mike Matthews, Local 24 News.